Hey, got another vlog here for you. Uh, I wanted to talk about the different types of teachers and uh, I've got my phone facing towards me so I can, um, like the screen facing towards me so I can uh, scroll through like a list that I made. So yeah, let's talk about the different types of teachers. So the first one on my list is uh, the teacher that absolutely hates kids so much like with a passion but has like their favorites mainly because like they're like related somehow um and they'll like start talking about like family members or, or whatever but this teacher i i had this teacher a lot of teachers i'm gonna be talking about i had um but like this teacher just like hated everyone and i've already talked about her um in my video about uh like this, like teachers hated me or like this teacher hated me or whatever. Something about a teacher hating, whatever. Um, and she just absolutely hated kids and she really hated me. I don't know why, <laughs> but, uh, she, like a kid like stabbed me in the face and I was in there like bleeding and, uh, like the teacher just like did not care at all. It's like, go sit down. I'm talking to a teacher. Um, and she got in trouble for that. Which I'm glad she got in trouble for that. Because, I mean, I'm just like a little kid. I get stabbed in the face. And then, like, the teachers don't care. Um, but, yeah. She just, like... This teacher just hates kids. Um, but it has their favorites. Uh, next on my list. What's next on my list? Uh, yeah. So, we have the fun teacher. The fun teacher is, like... like the name implies. The teacher that just, like everybody likes so much and if you get into that teacher's classroom you don't care because you know that's like a teacher that's like really fun and i don't know how they're able to teach and give good grades but and still be a fun teacher that everybody likes everybody likes to talk to even whenever it's outside of class they still like to go talk to that teacher and hang out with them and they're able to just like get everybody's attention and teach and everybody learns from this teacher how do you do it how are you able to do that that is like that's like everybody's like dream to just be like be liked by everybody and everybody listen to you um so that is just like incredible um and then let's talk about the creepy teachers. Uh, I've definitely had my fair share of these creepy teachers that talk to like these really young girls. <laughs> like I'm talking about, I, I am somehow like with my ears uh, able to just hear from far away, even though I don't listen to like, anything now. <laughs> um, and I have a hard time like listening to people, but somehow I'm able to like, to hear them very clearly whenever it's just that teacher and that student. Um, and just like the things that they say, it's like, like that teacher says, it's like, you know, I, I could like tell somebody that you said that and you could probably get fired for that. <laughs> um, but somehow like these girls, like they just allow this to happen. Of course, not girls. It could be like a guy or uh, but whatever but like these girls just like they let these teachers talk to them like that and they don't report it at all like is there something going behind is there something like going like happening behind the curtains like are you doing something behind our backs um yeah so let's see what's on my yes oh my gosh the emotional teacher this teacher will cry and throw a tantrum and tell, tell us that we are, like, just terrible students. And that they, like, went through so much to get to the position that they are in. And that we just treat them terribly. And, like, and it's so, it feels so weird when they just start crying. Because it's, like, it's so awkward. Like, you don't know what to do. Because you're just, like, some kid just there to, you know, have fun and you know, maybe learn. Um... But then you just have that teacher crying. It's like, what do you, what do you do about that? What do you do? Um, let's see. Oh, the history teacher. 
the history teacher can be like really boring when they teach nobody really listens they, they mainly fall asleep but then as soon as like you know there's something like important that you need to do like there's like a test or like some uh some some papers you gotta work on or or he's he's needing to like teach like on the the board or whatever anybody like literally anybody even somebody that does not play sports or know anything about sports they mention anything sport related and they just start talking about sports the entire time the teacher just goes off about like oh yeah ba basketball you know that game and all that stuff like all they all somebody has to do is just say anything sport related and they will just go on the entire classroom about sports um and that brings me up to my next teacher the the coach teacher that the that we had a lot of uh coach teachers back in high school because we were in short supply of teachers we we had a lot more like substitute teachers than actual teachers um but yeah, the coach teachers, like, it's like they, they, they would teach everything, but like nobody really wanted to listen. Uh, but it, all they had to do was just talk about the game or, or sports or whatever. And they would just start talking about sports the entire time. Uh, let's see, what's next on my list? Uh, the teacher that everyone, everybody wanted, like, in that certain way, <laughs> that very very loving way uh people dreamed of being in that teacher's way because they wanted them so badly like in that way <laughs> um everybody wanted to be in that classroom um just so that they can get near that teacher and then there'd be like you know, the times like where it's outside class or at break and there'd be like all these people like flirting with that teacher and they know the teacher knows um but and everybody outside of school will just be talking about that teacher. Um, so that's about it with that one. Uh, oh, yeah, and then the opposite of that. Um, it'd be the overweight teacher that smelled awful. But also, would when they were talking to a student that's, like, next to you, uh, because, like, that student, like, has a question. They would, like, bend over, like, 90 degrees, like, onto their, uh, desk. And they're just, like, massive butt. I'll say butt. But their massive butt would just be, like, right in your face. And it's like, I don't want that. Get that away from me. <laughs> it's like, I, it's like right in the corner of my, my eye. Like, I can still see it. Um... But it's like, why do you have to, like, bend over so much? Like, just, you can just talk to them. And it's, like, not like you're having to, like, tell them a secret. Like, hey, the answer to that is number uh, three. It's like, like, why do you have to do that? All right, let's see what's next on my list. Oh, the teacher, the teacher that would just be like, I'll wait. I'll wait. Like, if the classroom was talking... And the teacher was trying to, like, get everybody to be quiet. They would just be like, I'll wait. Like, is that actually going to do anything? Nobody who does, like, nobody listens to you. If you say, like, I'll wait, it'll get to a point where then the I'll wait turns into, like, just going off about how much, like, she hates everybody. <laughs> like, it doesn't work. Why do you say I'll wait? Nobody listens to that. Um, And like, it'd be like that. that's the same time. Uh, type of teacher that says the bell doesn't dismiss you i dismiss you nobody likes that nobody likes that at all um all right let's see uh oh yeah i kind of looked weird uh but the teacher that just doesn't care at all and you can do whatever you want uh so like i had this health teacher in high school and I, yeah this was my freshman year too so i had a good start <laughs> but um this teacher was also like a coach and just did not care at all didn't care about like yeah i'm not gonna teach y'all anything <laughs> y'all aren't gonna listen anyway so just do whatever and i would just get on my chromebook and like just do whatever i i mainly like draw i drew a lot in that classroom um, but yeah, you could just like get on like, you know, 
learn for good or cool math or whatever you would just be playing like all these games and he's just sitting there like on his phone or whatever and somehow it just did not get caught like these principals like they would, they would go around and i guess like uh i guess would see like oh like what are you teaching them like you know keeping up like what everybody's teaching what and you know all these kids are getting good grades uh, but apparently this teacher just somehow flew under the radar like no principal ever went to go see this teacher didn't check up on see like what our work was nothing so those those teachers were pretty cool um oh yeah <laughs> this this happens so much but the english teacher that just gets pregnant and you don't see them for the rest of the year this has happened to me and i Apparently, it's also, like, a, a meme because, like, I was told before, and I, I I think about this quite a lot, but if it's a meme, then enough people are doing it. So, there are enough English teachers just getting pregnant and then just leaving the rest of the year. Uh, and then they show up, like, as soon as, like, you're, like, in the next grade. Then, then, then they come back. Um, I guess they needed a break or they just needed it they'll they'll just get pregnant again so they can miss the next grade um lastly yeah lastly let's talk about the irresponsible teacher this teacher would lose papers especially my papers especially my papers uh but then there'd be like times where they would just le like lose everybody's papers how do you how do you like just lose everybody's papers um this happened to me especially in middle school uh, in high school uh not so much except i do have a story about uh my papers after i talk about this but this like teacher would just lose everybody's papers and if not everybody's it'll be my i don't know why it was always me um and of course i would get a bad grade for it because apparently i didn't do it but even though i did and i turned it in uh i apparently just didn't do it um and the, and then like weeks later guess what there's my paper that they found that they lost and then now they found it and of course i didn't get a good grade for it or I didn't get grade for it at all because, you know, it's too late now. I would get, like, the paper that I had to rush or I couldn't do at all. And I would just get, like, a zero or a bad grade for it. Um, because if I had to rush it, then it would be a bad grade because I'm sitting there on the rush. Even though I had my paper uh, already done with and it was, like, you know, perfect and everything. Um, I would get a bad grade or I wouldn't get a grade at all. Um, and then, of course, weeks later, they'd find it. Um, so yeah, that's about, uh, it for the, my list of types of teachers. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, then I'll talk about this teacher, uh, the story. So, uh, it was high school. I was in junior year. I believe I was either a junior or a senior. Um, and the blood drive was coming up and I was like, you know what? I've never donated blood. I'll do this. I, I want to uh, donate my blood. So, of course, I fill out the paperwork and everything and I turn it in. Well, the day comes to uh, have the, you know, to do the blood donating. So I go over to the building that it's held in and, you know, I say like, hey, this is me. I, you know, did my paperwork and everything. They would sit there and try to find it. And they can't find it. And they're like, uh, go check with your teacher to see, and they be like, are you sure you fill it out? I'm like, yeah, I turned it in at this day to this teacher and everything. So they're like, all right, we'll go to the classroom and, uh, see if they can find it. If they haven't turned it in or whatever. So it's like, all right. So I'll walk all the way across to the other side of the school. Um, and I go to that teacher and I say, hey, they're missing my paperwork. Did you turn it in? And they would they would sit there and try to look for it. Well, after a while, they couldn't find it. Um, so they would say, like, uh, go back over there and check with them and see if it was, like, another classroom. So I was like, all right, whatever. So ooh, my battery's about to die. Um, so then I walked all the way across to the other side of school. 
And they would say, they would like look through everything. They would say, no, I didn't, I couldn't find it. Um, and so then I got sent back to that teacher. So I walked all the way across yet again to that teacher's classroom, walked in, they found it. Um, so I'd be like, all right, good. Cause I, I wanted to donate blood. Uh, so I was like, you know, happy and everything. So I grabbed the paper. I walk all the way back to the blood drive, handed my paperwork. And they're like, all right, uh, sit down here. We're going to take your, uh, blood or not take your blood, but like take your, uh, heart rate and everything, whatever they have to do to, uh, you know, take your blood. So I was like, all right. So I sit there, uh, I lay down on the little, uh, bench thing and they take my, uh, heart rate or blood pressure or whatever. And of course it being hot down here all the time and having to walk back and forth so much, my heart rate was like high. And so they couldn't take my blood Ooh, excuse me because my blood pressure my heart rate or whatever was like way too high um so i didn't get to donate blood that day and i was so irritated i was so mad because i wait for one wasted all this time um and two i couldn't donate blood and i really wanted to um so i didn't get to and i, I never got to after that um because i just didn't <laughs> i didn't deal with it anymore i was like you know what whatever i tried doing something good and i couldn't even do that um, but yeah, that, that's all for this, uh, video. I just want to talk about the types of teachers and, uh, maybe if you can relate or if you have like a teacher that I didn't say, uh, you know, what type of teacher did you have that I didn't list on this, uh, video? So yeah, that's about it.